Hey guys, it's me Jack here and welcome back to another video. Today I am here with a Lego Star Wars set, uh, Clone Troopers vs Droidicus set which came out at the start of 2013 and is sadly no longer available. Uh, but this is set number 75000 for ages 6 to 12. It has 124 pieces and when it was available to buy from the Lego store and Toys R Us, it retailed for 11.99 here in the UK. Uh, so this set is a small little set, and it was really the first one, uh, the first Attack of Clones set that LEGO released in 2013. Uh, and it comes with some pretty nice minifigures, and a nice little build as well. Uh, so first off, let's go and take a closer look at those minifigures. The first minifigure that we have here is the Clone Trooper Sergeant, and you can tell him apart from the regular figures. Uh, that are just plain white uh, because he has the olive green arms and detailed olive green printing around the visor area of the helmet and then also the four dots there on the torso uh, this is a different kind of torso print for lego clone troopers it is different to the phase two one that we've seen ever so slightly but there it does just have the two lines that the phase two figures have and the previous clone wars clone troopers have not had Around the back of the torso, the print is also updated slightly with the thermal detonator there. The reverse side of the belt. There is no printing on the back of the helmet or anything. On the front of the helmet, there is the visor and the mouthpiece with the breathers along the side. And the olive green up the front of the fin and around the visor. No leg printing or arm printing. And this clone comes with a blaster. A regular clone blaster and a pair of micro binoculars, except they don't attach to the helmet. Uh, like they could do, they could. Like, I don't understand why Lego never made micro binoculars because they are something from the Clone Wars, and the figures do have the holes in the helmet to make that work. I can see why they didn't put it in this set, as these are from the film, not the TV series. But I um, don't understand why they never made them for any of the Clone Wars sets they used to make. Uh, if I just remove the helmet there, you'll see a new clone face. This is the new movie face that obviously now we are very used to seeing, but this was the first set this clone face was used in. Uh, and it is only one side, so there you go. That is the Clone Sergeant. Let's go move on to the regular Clone Trooper. Okay guys, so here we have the regular Clone Trooper, and for me, this is my favourite Phase 1 clone that we've had. The uh, the ones that came out in 2002, those Phase 1 clones had holes and you had to have a black uh, head piece. And the Clone Wars ones are just a bit too cartoony. Uh, so these are my favourite Phase 1 clones that we've had. The exact same helmet mould as the Clone Wars but a different print with the visor there. And it has some grey detailing here just to emphasise the... Uh, where the helmet goes in, it has breathers on the side, and yeah, a real nice all-round helmet. Uh, if I take the helmet off there, it does just have the flesh head, which was new to this figure uh, when it came out. Torso, the exact same as the sergeant's, uh, except it doesn't have the olive green. And the arms and legs do not have printing. This gun comes with the regular Lego blaster for Star Wars figures. Around the back, it is the exact same uh, back of the torso as the sergeant did, so... Yeah, that is pretty much it for this figure. Let's go move on to the Droidicas. Okay guys, so here we have the Droidicas, and you get two in this set. Uh, but they're the exact same, so I can take one out of the way, so we can get a better look at this one. Uh, it has the red center eye there. And it comes with two binocular pieces to make the blasters, as a, as you know, if you watch Star Wars, uh, the first three films, or the Clone Wars TV series, you know they have double blasters. Uh, the feet are done well as well. Um, now, droidicas, I don't understand the design of the droidica, because they're really powerful, but then they're so slow when they're actually walking, because they only have one leg at the back. Uh, but accurately done by Lego. Um... You can roll these droidicas up a little bit better than you have been able to with ones that we had in the past. 
Uh, you can tuck everything in and roll it up. Kind of. It's still not that easy to roll. And it still looks a bit awkward. And it takes a lot to get the head in the perfect position. Uh, but it does roll. That's a playability feature. Slightly better than the older versions do. Uh, but yeah. There's not too much to say about the Droidica. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it. So let's go take a look at the Mobile Command Center. So here we have the Mobile Command Center. And we see this uh, in the Attack of Clones movie. Uh, they are quite a lot bigger than this one is. This is a small version. Uh, but the gunship pulls up and drops off Yoda, who walks up the ramp to speak to a clone captain in the command center, but obviously it's a lot bigger. And I suppose if you had four or five of these, you could make a much more accurate one to the film. Uh, but this one just has the one seat for the clone, and you can fit to, uh, clones either side in there as well. And then if you are traveling around in it, you can fold up the sides to make it a more secure uh, cockpit area. Around the back you have places to put the blasters for both of the clone figures. So each clone does come with a gun. Uh, and then it really only has the one playability feature, which is the fact that this uh, aerial piece folds down. And in there you can just see a little blue stud which is the front of a flick fire missile. I'm not sure how well it works but we'll have a go. That was okay. So the missile just uh, goes in through that hole there. Like so. And then you just fold up the top like that. Uh, so yeah, that is it for the mobile command center and the main build to this little set. So let's go and conclude the video. Okay guys, so that is it for this review. As I said, it is a nice little set and it comes with two great clones and is a good way to get your hands on some of the regular Phase 1 clone troopers. Also, the Droidicas are pretty good. For me, they are LEGO's best attempt at a Droidica that they have done. Um, so yeah. That is it for the video guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to rate and comment and also subscribe to my channel for more content just like this in the future. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for my next video which will be a fast motion build of the Ant-Man set uh, and then also there will be a review of that coming shortly afterwards. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video guys, goodbye.